Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you a two-part tech tip on surface cleanliness and ATP. Some surfaces appear to be clean, when the reality is that there is contamination on the surface. There are health risks to contamination in important areas such as food prep and high-touch surfaces. Besides using your eyes, nose, and sense of touch, how can you evaluate if a surface is clean? There are traditional methods involving the use of a laboratory, but in this Tech Tip video, I'd like to describe a rapid field test that doesn't involve a lab. First, a little background information. Adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short, is generated by living cells. ATP is the main energy currency of cells as energy transactions take place inside the cell to drive all the activity. ATP is the main energy currency for all cells, ranging from human cells all the way down to a cell of bacteria. What's interesting is that the amount of ATP on a surface, such as a table, can be used as an indicator for surface cleanliness. There are special devices that have been designed to quantify the amount of ATP on a surface. A specialized wetted swab is used to collect a sample on a surface, often 4 inches by 4 inches. The ATP picked up on the swab is mixed with a solution containing an enzyme which results in the production of light called bioluminescence. This is the same reaction that occurs when a firefly lights up. A device called a luminometer measures the amount of light given off which is proportional to the amount of ATP on the surface. The amount of light is measured in the units of RLU, relative light unit. So the more biologically contaminated the surface, the more ATP present, and the more light that will be measured by the luminometer when a test is done. The device displays a numerical value so cleanliness can be compared to industry guidelines and standards. Different manufacturers of ATP meters use different technologies and algorithms for measuring light. This means that RLU measurements will vary between different manufacturers, so you can't directly compare their results. In our next video, I'll get into the details and cover the pros and cons of measuring surface cleanliness with ATP. If you'd like to learn more about technologies used to evaluate indoor environmental quality, consider taking classes in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.